Everyone's in their uh, seats. Okay. So, uh, hi everybody. Thank you for so much for coming today. You realize, as I do, that together nothing is impossible. My, thank you. My name is Al Doyle. I'm the president of the Tenants Association. We have much to do today. Big, important, historic matters are before us. And number one is the future of Stuyvesant Town and Peter Cooper Village. Much has happened, much is happening, and much will happen. Our terrific team is fully assembled, well, almost fully assembled. Uh, we have Molis and Company in front of us. We have Paul Weiss. We have Assemblyman Brian Cavanaugh and our Councilman Dan Gorodnik. And we're expecting Borough President Scott Stringer and our Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney. <clears throat> While all these folks will have important news for you, there's one thing I will make clear right now about the future of Stuyvesant Town and Peter Cooper Village. Anyone living here today who wants to live here tomorrow will be able to and must be able to live here tomorrow. That's why we are here today. Of course, you will still have to pay your rent or your maintenance or your mortgage. The bills never go away. But beyond that, if we work together, stay together, and if necessary, fight together, there will be no plan for the future of Stuyvesant Town, Peter Cooper Village, that forces anyone out. Okay. I'm able to make this declaration today because the law is on our side. Everyone in Stuyvesant Town and Peter Cooper Village is protected under the law. But that could change tomorrow. The law needs to be renewed. It expires in just a few months. In a moment, Assemblyman Cavanaugh and our great friend, who hasn't arrived yet, Michael McKee, will discuss this crucial issue with you and tell us what we all must do to keep these protections in place. But first, a word from our, spo our sponsor. Any of you who are not members of the Tenants Association, please join today. United, we achieve all our goals. As I said, if we are together, nothing is impossible. If we are divided, all will fail. And as a famous person once said, and I don't know whether it was Bill Darrow from Molis or Benjamin Franklin, but we'll either all hang together or certainly we'll all hang separately. You'll hear from Councilmember Gorodnik talk about what's next for all of us. It will be crystal clear that the only way to achieve the future we want to achieve is together. I'm going to ask Susan Steinberg, our Executive Vice President, to talk a little bit more about the activities of the Tenants Association and why membership is so important. Thank you. Thank you very much, Al. A bit of housekeeping first. Many of you not only pre-registered to attend, but you pre-registered questions. And the questions have been distilled to reflect the most frequently asked and the most critical. And these will be addressed throughout the presentation of our professional advisors and electeds. So listen up. However, for those of you who have not had a chance to ask questions, we have index cards that are being uh, available for you. Please write your question and then uh, give them to a volunteer, and we will try to answer as many of these as possible. However, we would like to try to wrap things up at 3.30. We've kind of promised the school. So um, we, we will do what we can to get through those questions. And as always, if there's any that you have remaining, you can always email uh, the Tenants Association. Now I'd like to introduce you to your board of directors, but before I do that, I'd just like to say a little something extra about Al Doyle. Al has been president of the association since 1987, and he's... 
At the time he was president, there were two members <laughs> when he started. However, he has built this up to, I have to say, a wonderful organization. And under his leadership, we have accomplished much. And I think we should give Al an extra round of applause. In June, we had an election, and you selected 15 candidates to serve on the board. I would now like for them to all stand up and face you so that their, fo their images can go on the wanted poster, and not just me and Al. And I'm going to call their names alphabetically. I want them to wave. Virginia Caldwell. Where are you, Virginia? <laughs> Julie Ehrlich. Give a wave. Kevin Farrelly. Sunny Fink, Jennifer Cops, Jennifer, are you here? Oh, okay. Judith Brebel Miller, Steve Newmark, Jim Roth, Ann Salzberg, and John Sheehy, Helen Thompson. Jonathan Wells, and some of you are wondering, why didn't I name John Marsh? Well, he's off in Italy, that lucky dog. So he's waving to you from there. Now, speaking of elections, in order to bring our elections annually online with our fiscal year, incredibly, we're going to hold them again shortly after the beginning of the new year. Um, it's going to be a smaller slate because uh, there's only three directors who will be running because uh, it depends on the class as a director, and a class is defined as the year you're up for election. Those who are, as you know, those who are members can vote. If you are not a member of the association, you will not be able to vote. We will be getting information out about the election shortly before year end. Now, Al said I was going to tell you about some of the activities of the association and what we've been up to. A lot of our activities are quietly undertaken, and you, I know many of you sometimes wonder what it is we actually do. So here is a brief rundown of just some of the things we've accomplished in the last year. We've built a fantastic volunteer organization. We have volunteers in all 110 buildings. We have uh, zone leaders who are kind of manage the whole effort. You've seen our volunteers. They're wearing yellow t-shirts. I want to thank them. They have spent untold hours. They're doing a fabulous job. And if any of you are, would like to, we always could uh, use more volunteers. And, you know, one of the rewards is you'll get a yellow t-shirt. We conducted a highly successful unity campaign, obtaining pledges from 85% of the residents, designating the Tenants Association as a single powerful voice to negotiate you and protect your interests. And believe me, we intend to. We've established four committees of tenant volunteers to deal with legal, real estate, financial organizing, and maintenance matters. And the legal and real estate financial uh, committees are routinely uh, conferring with our advisors. Um, we've had, we created, we drew up new bylaws, which you voted on. We've held elections, which you voted on. And our new and expanded board is all working very, already working very hard on your behalf. We're working closely with the J51 Roberts attorneys who've restored rent stabilization to the entire community and have gotten the court to allow illegally overcharged tenants to collect damages retroactively. But it is important that we expand and continue our efforts. So please, if you're not a member of the association, join. If your dues have expired, renew them, consider additional contributions, and I want to thank the many of you who are members and who have given us additional donations. Now, before we get to the program, I just some of you have been asking about MCIs and what's going on. I wanted to give you a very quick update. There are eight MCIs pending before the DHCR. Two are in petition for administrative review. That's the roof MCIs for 50 buildings in Stuyvesant Town and elevators MCI, MCIs for 70 Stuyvesant Town building. 
Eight other MCIs are in the initial answering stage and are awaiting DHCR um, action. Uh, in Stuyvesant Town, it's video intercoms, repaving, exterior doors, and entrance door and lobby modifications. In both Stuyvesant Town and Peter Cooper Village, it's water tanks, pumps and valves, video security system, security command center, storage car system. The DHCR is very backlog, and quite frankly, these are all sitting in a file somewhere. They have yet to be dealt with. Um, but when the board meets with CW Capital and Rose Associates in the near future, we intend to raise the issues of MCIs, particularly those eight that I've just enumerated, and we are going to ask that they be withdrawn and modified. Now, uh, the Tenants Association sent a questionnaire to the two major candidates for governor. We sought their views on rent stabilization, which is scheduled to expire in 2011, the MCI reform, repeal of the Erstat law, and return of the authority over rent regulations to the city, um, and the repeal of vacancy decontrol, and we also asked them whether they would oppose efforts to overturn the Roberts decision, which I think you know there's some skullduggery going on about that. As a result of our efforts, Andrew Cuomo's office is giving us a meeting shortly after the, after the election, providing he becomes elected governor. You will be hearing about restructuring from our professional advisors and Dan Garodnik. But just to let you know that over the summer and into the fall, the board has had several meetings and telephone conferences with our legal and financial advisors, and recently with our legal and real estate advisory committees. We will be meeting, as I mentioned a little bit ago, with CW Capital and Rose Associates, along with our advisors in the next couple of weeks. And in addition to MCIs, we will be discussing with our with Rose our concerns regarding maintenance, laundry rooms, safety, and other matters. With the help of all of you, meaning we depend upon you to report things that are wrong to us, we intend to monitor their performance closely and to hold them accountable for their performance or lack of performance. Rumors are out there that your board is pushing a conversion that will force tenants to buy their homes or be forced out. Not true. One of our principles, which has been published in the newspapers and is up on our website, is that this, whatever happens, will be a non-eviction plan and that those who want to remain as rent-regulated tenants under rent regulation will do so, and those who want to buy their apartments will be able to at a price that's affordable. We are committed to an affordable community. We are not going to let settle for anything less than that. As you know, rent stabilization is scheduled to expire in 2011. And fortunately, we have strong and committed advocates for rent stabilization, uh, representing our community in Albany. Senator Tom Duane and Assemblymember Brian Kavanaugh, both of whom have done an outstanding job. I want to move to the next part of our program by bringing up Assemblyman Brian Kavanaugh, who, if he arrives, will introduce Michael McKee. Brian is a staunch supporter of Stuyvesant Town and Peter Cooper Village, and his continued intense efforts on rent regulations is one of the best ways he can help, ways he can help protect us as a middle class community. Michael McKee has been a long, has long been one of the great leaders in the fight for affordable housing. Mike will bring us up to date, hopefully, and we'll tell you how you can help advance the cause. Your participation is critical. We, the Tenants Association, cannot get rent regulations renewed on our own. Each and every one of you has to take a part in this. It's very important. So Assemblyman Kavanaugh will talk to us about the status of rent regulations.
So it sounds like 